Once you've found the right location for your machine, it's time to prepare it for work. You should have a key numbered T401. This key opens the base door at the front of your machine. Inside, you will find rolls of paper for the thermal printer. Take one of these out and lock the base door. Now open the machine's main door using the second key, numbered N5008. The paper spool fits into the printer located here. Push down the lever on the bottom right of the printer. Now pull the printer housing like this. This lets you feed the paper through so that it's ready for printing. Once this is done, close the printer housing and the lever. Another key feature of your machine is the coin hopper that holds money to pay out to game winners. The hopper is here, next to the printer. The hopper should hold coins to the value of $300 at all times. If the hopper is too low on coins, the screen will display Hopper Low. Open the main door and press the fill button next to the power switch. Now you can fill the hopper to the right level. Close the machine and you're ready for your first player. Reports you can print. There are two main reports you can print from the machine. One is called a short-term report. This is an audit report you can use to help you tally your takings over whatever time period you choose. This could be weekly or monthly. The other audit report you can print is called a long-term report. This report is required when you are doing the financial return to the owner of the machine. Before you print any reports, make sure the machine is turned on at the mains. Locate the third key, which is numbered A2001. Insert this key into the key switch at the top right-hand side of the machine. Turn the key clockwise to the on position. The screen will display the short-term status report. To move the cursor to print report, press the number of lines button on the front door. To print, press the play button. To print your long-term reports, use the number of lines button again. To print, press the play button. Coins and meters. One counts coins in as games are played. These are in $1 units. Another counts coins out as players win money. Again, this is in $1 units. The third one counts how many games are played. For more information about our state-of-the-art video lottery machines, please contact Alan Davey from Cabaret Gaming on 0418 945 173.